Hey you guys, it's Erin Clark here again, one of your oil camp coaches, and I'm here to talk to you about um, some of the ways that we can use uh, products in our cooking, which is really cool. So I'm going to talk specifically about oregano, since most of you guys will have oregano um, in one of your starter kits, whether the family essentials or home essentials kit, oregano comes in that one. Um, so we're going to talk about using those oils in your, in your kitchen and how you can do that. doTERRA has tons of oils that are safe. Um, for ingestion as well as um, oils that we use when um, when I cook at home so oregano is just one um, we also use things like ginger and rosemary and dill and thyme um, basil black pepper all of those oils are gonna be really cool to use inside your food and to play with so while I don't have anything set up in particular to cook today oregano is something that I use on a regular basis whenever I cook anything Italian so using that oregano oil um, is gonna be be provide those health benefits you're gonna get um, that you won't necessarily get from using the herb so while you can still put a little dash of that herb in there if you like kind of the texture or the color it brings to um, the pasta sauce or Italian dish or whatever you're using it for um, I like to add the essential oil in there because of the health benefits that you're gonna get when using those oils right so we don't get that same benefit from using the herb especially if it's dried um, but we are gonna get the health benefits from something like oregano okay so I'm going to show you guys how I do this um, whenever I use um, our essential oils especially things like oregano rosemary basil thyme things like that um, that have very strong flavors I always put my um, oil on a toothpick and let the toothpick absorb the oil and then I put that in my meal um, or in the cooking so I'm going to show you guys I'm going to use this toothpick and then I place it in a little glass bowl like this. You can put it on a plate or a bowl or whatever you want. Pretty simple here. And then we're gonna take our oregano, oregano oil, and then we're gonna pop that open. I'm gonna put one to two drops. I'm gonna drop it right on my toothpick. So we just go like this. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let's see, one, two, and then I let that toothpick kind of slide around in the oil and um, make sure that it gets nice and absorbed in there, okay? And then what that's gonna do is the oregano oil and some of these oils are really, really powerful. I mean, one drop, um, oregano especially has um, a chemical composition designed for um, helping things like, we talked about already, um, you know, warts and viral issues and things like that. So it's really strong and it kind of has a tingly burning feeling. So I always put mine on a little toothpick like this and that kind of takes the um, the effect of the oil down just a bit in the sense of like how potent it is because you don't want to put one drop um, in your um, like in your pasta sauce or your marinara sauce or something like that um, one time I used rosemary without knowing that it was as strong as it was I was making some Christmas gifts and I was making a rosemary sea salt um, and put like multiple drops of rosemary in there as opposed to putting it on my toothpick and then rolling it around in uh, the salt and the smell of rosemary in our home was like overwhelming. So this is tip typically what I do for any of the oils that I'm going to use in, in cooking. Now baking is a little different, um, but for cooking things, um, you know, things like um, you can also use this like in salad dressings and stuff like that. I always add a toothpick first, then put the oil on there and then remove the toothpick before I either serve it up or save it in the refrigerator or whatever is going on with that. So um, that's our oregano oil. And um, like I said, we've got lots of oils that you can, we've got lots of oils that you can use um, in your baking or in your cooking. So um, hopefully you guys will have some options and some stuff to use in there. This is just one of the ways that we use it. I hope you enjoy using your oregano and your next time you cook your Italian meal. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.